welcome back to my workshop and another fibre laser video. So I've brought in a test CAD into EasyCAD 2 and we are going to try and find the best settings to engrave a high definition photograph directly onto steel. This is a test CAD I normally use for my 100 watt CO2 laser uh, and it serves me very well it's um, as you can see it's uh, completely black and then grud gradually it comes to completely white it's uh, a, a dot matrix or a dithered should we say test CAD so I'm going to try some different settings to see how good the fibre laser is it great in engraving uh, a HD photograph? Um, well, 0 0.025, it's a good start. Um, and we'll see what that does directly on the steel. Uh, this is a pretty good um, scan line setting. We only want it to... to, to scan in one direction um, at a fairly slow rate actually um, so I think that'll be okay so we're going to apply that uh, as a start and power setting well I think we need it a little bit more than that I will try 200, 200, um, 50, 20, well we'll give that a shot and see what happens. We want it fairly dark um, and, and we'll see what happens with that. Okay, that's a fairly good representation, I think. Um, it's sort of a completely clear there, co completely coloured in there, and you can see all the actual the different gradients here. Okay, so this time we're going to run it a little faster uh, and a little bit more power. So I'm going to alter this to, should we say, 450 speed and I'm take it all the way up to 95 in power and we'll move this let's red light it I'm going to move this over a little let's see what difference this makes Ooh, that's a bit more livelier Okay, this is ever so slightly darker than that, of course it's done it twice as quick, um, but what I'm after is a, a good dark, um, dark variant, so let's um, move this over a little, to about there. Uh, this time I'm going to take it down to 250 speed and I'm going to leave it at 95 uh, power output and frequency of 20. Let's just red light that a second. There and we'll try that.
I think we found our setting. That's a very, that's a good representation of a, of, you know, a really dark um, etching on steel. And it's got all the graduations that we require to do. I think a fairly reasonable high definition black and white photograph. Okay, so let's choose our photograph. Right, so I've I've brought in a very good black and white photograph of Angelina. And we're going to reduce this in size now. So we just come over here to this corner. And we're going to say we want this 60 millimeters high. And apply. Then you press C on your keyboard. And that will take it into the middle. Okay, hatch. I'm going to bring this all the way down to one because it is a very high resolution graphic and I need it to be uh, <clears throat> you know I, high re resolution graphic I want to take advantage of that put this to zero um, I don't think any of these are lit no this is correct it's going to do it, enable, and we're going to do it one time. I may actually run it a couple of times to uh, see, we'll have to see how dark it is the first time that we do it. Um, now we're going to set this at, um, I think the first time I'm run, running this I'm going to do 450. And I'm going to be doing 95. And uh, I'll probably reduce it down to 250 for the second run. Uh, I've, I've, I've done that on a couple of test pieces and that seems to work for a high resolution photograph. Uh, the only thing I've done with this photograph is uh, I've raised the whites up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> that's why they're looking a bit shiny here and the gun and the side of her face um, because otherwise it would have been too too dark I think uh, you know I've done these sort of photographs before with the CO2 laser and you know I'm treating this as I would with the CO2 laser so let's see what the laser makes of this Okay, so we've red lit this now. We'll turn that off. And let's see what the fiber laser makes of this.
attempt with a fiber laser. I think the first photograph of Angelina was probably the best. Um, so, yeah. I think it's going to take a bit of practice to get it absolutely perfect, but uh, you know, you can actually actual print a high resolution graphic straight onto metal. Now, um, you know, this is a bit of old tin. Um, if I'd have prepared the metal surface, um, might have got a, a different result. In the future, we'll we'll try that. But you know, I'm, but it's that's okay. Um, I'm going to try that sort of thing on aluminium and brass and all sorts of different types of metals. Um, and plastic, actually. You can uh, do the same into plastics. But, um, yeah, it's okay. We'll get there one day. <laughs> um, so I hope you've liked this video today. And um, if you have, please press like and subscribe. And I think the next video we're going to do uh, a deep etching probably into a little bit of brass uh, could be any material really um, I think we'll get the first go in aluminium and um, I, you know I'm interested in actual engraving uh, with a fiber laser which is one of the things I got it for because you know a CNC router will uh, engrave but it's really, really slow. Um, you can get fairly good detail with it, but uh, I, I know there's a, a quicker way. So I, I think over the, the next uh, few weeks, we're going to try and get into some engraving, um, possibly things like key rings or something like that. But uh, we'll, we'll engrave into some test material. This is just plain old eighth of an inch by four inch aluminium. Uh, we'll use that as a test piece. I've also got the same material in, in brass as well, which are fairly good materials to engrave into actually. And we'll also have a go into steel as well. Um, and I, I do know that these will engrave into tool steel, so that will be an interesting one to try. So thank you for joining me for this video today and I hope you pop in for the, the next video in the exciting series of fiber lasers. So bye for now.